Hey, what's up, Musers? This is John at muse for You, and I'm very excited to be doing this video today. Uh, we're going to be using Edge Animate, Adobe Illustrator, and Adobe Muse to create a really cool effect in Adobe Muse. Now, in honor of Mother's Day, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Um, in honor of Mother's Day, I've decided to do an effect pertaining to Mother's Day. So what we'll be recreating in this video tutorial, I have it right here. And if I hit Command-Shift-E to preview in the browser, we can see we have this really cool animation where the wings and the tails of the birds go up and down and the hearts kind of move and the heart in the middle kind of is a heartbeat in the middle. And then as you scroll up, uh, the, the menu stays pinned to the top. So we have that cool effect initially in the beginning that says Happy Mother's Day and it says Mom up there. And then you go up and it stays pinned to the top. Now I actually got inspired off the Adobe Muse site of the day, so I'll just um, go there real quick. And it was this great website that I just really liked. It's this uh, free. It's called otakavalleyeggs.co.nz, and they have kind of like the legs on the chicken going, you know, ever which way, and the tail kind of changing there. And then they have you know some words here and and a menu. And when you scroll up, the menu sticks to the top, and you can see the rest of the website. And it's just a very, very interesting website. So I really like this effect, and I wanted to to show to show you guys how to how to do this, and to show, yeah, everyone how to how to do this because I really, really like this effect. So yeah, again, I'll show you. It's Command Shift E. So we scroll up, and the menu stays pinned to the top. We scroll back down, and we can see that animation. So this was created in Edge Animate. So we're going to be using Edge Animate, Adobe Illustrator, and Adobe Muse to create this effect. Um, and add it to our Adobe Muse website. So let's begin. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is download the images. I actually downloaded the images from freepick.com and I just typed in uh, Mother's Day. And there was a few images that came up. So I just looked through them and, and found the image of the of the bird and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, the image of, of those birds. So that image is, if I can find it, uh, let's see. Yeah, here it is. Mother's Day vector typographic card. And it's an Illustrator file, so I'm going to open up the uh, Illustrator file. Okay. So here's that image that uh, we we have uh, that, uh, that I created for that sample site. Now all we want from this image is the uh, just, you know, the text, the, the mom here, and these birds. So I'm just going to select this here. Actually, I'm going to, yeah, just select inside here, inside this area, and I'm going to hit Command C to copy. And I'm going to go to File, New. And I want to make the width of my artboard to 960. And the height, um, I think I set it to 750 for the height. So this is my artboard here. Um, and actually, I'll backtrack a little bit. Um, yeah, we just want to copy this. And just it, it really doesn't matter the size of the artboard, so I'm just going to go to File New again, and just set it to 500 to 500, and I'll show you why in a second. And I'll hit Command V, and there is our image. Now, the reason why it doesn't matter what size the artboard artboard is is because I can just go to Object, and under here where it says Artboards, I can just click on yeah Artboards and Fit to Art Artwork Bounds, and then it just goes around the whole image. So I do like the size of the image. I think it's it's fine. Um, so we can just leave it just like that. And the size is, um, the width is 710. Um, but yeah, that's fine. And I'll show you why in a sec as we continue the video. Um, if this video gets too long, I might cut it up in different sections, but I'll try to do the whole video in, in one shot. Okay, so basically now that we have the image there, what I want to do is cut out the, the wings here and the tail on both of these birds, so the, this tail area right over here, and this wing, and I also want to cut out the heart here in the middle, 
and that's about it so there's five pieces I'll be cutting out so to cut it out I'm just gonna click on the image I'm going to right click and click ungroup because all of these elements are grouped and I'll just keep doing that okay so now yeah so now we can just click on the bird as before if we clicked we'd select the whole image so I'll just click on this bird here and again I'll right click and click ungroup and see if I can select the tail so I should be able to select the tail and I can't quite yet so I have to right click again and oh for this one I have to click on the the kind of the body of the bird there right click and um, actually let me try this again uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I have to ungroup one more time, and here. Okay, so now I have to click on like the body of the bird. Right click and release compound path. All right, so now I can select the tail of the bird. So I'm going to select it here, and I'm going to hit Command C to copy, and I'll go to File New. I'll click OK, and then I'll just paste it right in there. And we didn't get all of the bird, as you can see. It's kind of the tail is kind of cut off there. So let me go back to my artboard here or to this image and just make sure I select the whole tail and if I select the body I can hold down shift and click on the body and that'll deselect the body there so I'm gonna hit command C to copy and I'm gonna paste it right in there and again I'm going to go to object uh, artboards fit artwork artwork to bounds uh, I think that's what it was artboards yeah fit to artwork bounds so now it's kind of constrained within that uh, image and there's no extra kind of art you know artwork bounds here um, it just fits nice nicely around the image so now I can save this image so I'll go to file save for web and I want to save it as a PNG-24 and I want to save it as a transparency and I want to uncheck clip to artboard otherwise you might lose some of the image as it clips the the artboard so there we go that looks good and we can make sure that we have all the image and we don't lose any any of the image due to clipping of the artboard. And when that happens, sometimes a circular area will look flat, um, kind of like, because this tail has a bit of uh, circular um, areas here, so we don't want it to be cut off. Okay, so now that we've done that, we've set it PNG24, transparency, and unchecked clip to artboard. We can click on save. And then I'm gonna save it to a folder, and I'll just find that folder real quick and here we go and I'll save it in here alright so I want to save this as tail one alright so I'm gonna do this for the rest of these elements so for the wing these wings and the tail here and the heart so I'm gonna move fairly quickly through this so I'll just do this real quick and pretty good. I'll just paste it in there I'm gonna go to object Artboard fit artwork to bounds file save for web Save and I'll call this wing one Okay, then we'll go in here. We'll ungroup And I'll select both of those elements in there I'll delete this and then I'll go to object Artboard fit artwork to bounds Very good file Save for web and I'll click on save We'll call this wing two, and then I'll grab the tail here. There we go, and okay. So now I have all my elements saved. So what I want to do is delete those elements that I saved, delete it from this main picture here. Okay, so all the elements, so I had saved the tail, so I'll delete the tail here. Very good, I'll delete these wings. And I'll delete the heart right there. All right, perfect. So now I'll just save this. I'll say file, save for web, and I'll click save. And then I'll just say kind of main image. All right, so now I have all my elements in place. So that's, I believe, six images in total. So let's go back to that and check the images. I have the heart, the main image, the tail one, tail two, wing one, and wing two. All right, so now we're going to open up Adobe Edge Animate, and we're going to create the animation in Adobe Edge Animate. So I'll just open that up real quick.